Okay, to load your files into your Bitbucket repo, you basically want to have a directory that you're working from or directories that your files are. Uh, this is basically a install a Drupal um, that I was uh, doing a tutorial from. And right now, there's not a Git uh, repo set up for this directory to track the changes or anything. So what I'm going to do is right click and open up my uh, git command line or bash window um, and basically I got this from downloading and installing git using uh, this setup um, from the creator of git um, and, uh, and telling it that I wanted to add the uh, git commands or whatever to the windows system menu so anytime I'm inside of a directory I can right click it and open up the git bash there and that basically will put me right in the path for that directory and in direct right inside of that directory because if I do a list all in here you'll see everything in here matches what's in that directory so um, what I'm going to do first is create it or create a repository in there so now the git directory just was, was just created and I'm going to add everything in that directory to the repository Blah, blah blah blah. I always do a git status repeatedly to make sure. Uh, yep, a bunch of new files added. Um, at the top of that should be ready to be committed, but my scroll back is set lower, so I won't scroll back all the way to the beginning of all those files. So a git add, git status, a bunch of new files. I'm going to do a git commit, commit all those to the repo. All and add my message right here. Uh, I'm just going to initial commit. That's my habit of it's my first time committing these files to this brand new repo. Boom, like that. Bam. So when I do a git status now, the directory's clean. I'm on the master branch. If I do a git log, it's going to show that I just added that initial commit here. So back in my Bitbucket account, I'm going to create a new repository, which is basically going to be like a remote tracking repository, but I can, I'm going to kind of make it my main one anyway, so I'm going to call it Drupal form. I'm going to keep it private and I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow public forks to get repository, even though Bitbucket allows you to do Mercurial as well. Uh, I'm going to turn on issue tracking and wiki just because it's my habit, even though I probably won't use them at all and I'm gonna select uh, PHP for the language even though there's JavaScript and other types of files in this Drupal setup in here so I'm gonna go ahead and create that repository and now it's giving me the option to add some code um, from here I'm gonna just say I have an existing project to push up meaning push from my local machine up to this remote um, host so I'm going to just click that and the first step it's telling me to follow is to change the directory to the actual repo that uh, where, you know where my files reside I don't need to do that because I'm already there right now um, but I do need to add a remote tracking repository which will be this one uh, up here on Bitbucket so I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go back in here, paste it, hit return, and now it added it as a remote <laughs> repo um, to track this repo by. I may not be using the right words, but if you understand Git, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, so the next step. <laughs> is to push up all the files. This is a comment after that bash sign, of course. You might already know that. So I'm gonna get push. I don't remember what U stands for. I'm gonna push to the origin, which is this remote. Cause see, I added the remote and I called it origin. So I'm actually making this remote repository the, the origin of the files and and this local one on my machine is actually going to be a remote to that origin 
and I'm going to load up, uh, send up all the files. So here we go. I'm pushing it up. My SSH was already set up on this computer, um, and my keys were already entered into the Bitbucket side, and it's all up already. It's done. Added a new branch because it wasn't it wasn't there before, and so now I can basically get to work if I want. Refresh or just click on the title of it, and you'll see my recent activity in this repo was to push that up 16 seconds ago. Here's my initial commit. At least that's the uh, if I do a git log, you'll see these numbers. The first part of that commit match this one. So I know it's the same exact commit in there. Look in the source and you see those same files in there that were in that directory. And I don't have any other branches on that because I didn't create any branches on my local machine. And so now if I wanted to share that with you or anybody else, I could do that. So I go here. Was to guess it. So back in here, I'm going to just add, give you access to that. Um, like that. And now uh, you could go in there and see the files too if you wanted to. And that's it.